assalamu alaikum everyone uh, can anybody tell me is that is that my voice is audible to all okay thank you for, uh, thank you very much sahir uh, tasneem for your comment so uh, we are just waiting for our ceo mr zubair well he will join us after 15 minutes so before that we can just start our session uh, with a little bit introduction okay uh, my voice is not clear i hope and uh, now my voice will be clear Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Karen, are you with us? Let's uh, just start our session uh, from here. let me first introduce myself and then my organization so uh, first of all assalamu alaikum and very greetings to all i am raisa bibi manager marketing and communication at alhuda center of for discussion so hi assalamu alaikum uh, yes wa alaikum assalam karimin how are you i'm sorry i'm sorry i i can go on mute i'm sorry it's okay it's fine so uh, for moving further alhuda center of modest fashion is working globally from uh, 2019 and uh, provide different services like advisory and consultancy uh, uh, consultancy to different fashion brands we have different publications like alhuda today and uh, microfinance news and uh, we are providing other services that include education educational disciplines uh, in in which we uh, include some training programs some uh, different capacity building program programs like free webinars trainings and events and we are also conducting different virtual uh, internship batches to provide the free awareness and uh, the educational uh, to provide educational activities and co curricular activities to the students to uh, boost up their uh, knowledge and their activities to uh, for providing uh, a better future a better opportunities in future and our our aim is to globalize the concept of modest fashion beyond the religious misconceptions uh, because in religion and uh, in many countries modest fashion is criticized like uh, some people are saying that this is just a fashion th this is not a religious fashion so uh, this is uh, these concerns are not exactly the true at this at some point Uh, because uh, the modest fashion and wearing a baya hijab and loose clothing basically modesty uh, modest fashion is wearing the loose clothes that didn't reveal your body so uh, in modest fashion uh, we can say this is religious so this is not specific to any person to any country uh, anybody can wear a uh, modest dress so our vision and our mission is to uh, promote the modest fashion throughout the world uh, with 
different activities uh, that are that we are performing at global and international level so uh, as uh, when mr zubair will join us and uh, we will get a little bit more knowledge from our uh, beloved sister uh, the founder of alnisa designs caramel mohammed caramel please share your thoughts about modest fashion Uh, Karaman, are you listening me? Uh, i want to inform you all that uh, we are organizing uh, two days uh, specialized training on modest fashion in dubai so anybody uh, can want to join us in this training so he and she uh, can contact with me on uh, directly through email Hello. Yes, Karaman. Yes, Karaman, you can uh, start to speak. Sorry. I am so sorry. I'm in a really bad area and it's very bad out here and it completely the call went dead. I'm so sorry. Please accept my humble apologies. No, it's it's okay. Okay, I'm sorry I lost you. It was right at the point that you had asked me to speak. Eh, uh, Karaman, please tell us uh, our audience about modest fashion. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, thank you all so much for being a part of such a wonderful program. I am extremely excited to once again be able to be a part of all of your lives as emerging de designers. Modest fashion is a wonderful, wonderful segment into modest dressing. Today, now more than ever, what we are witnessing in the business of fashion is an emerging of modest fashion. Modest fashion is really the highest level or the pinnacle of civilized dress women. Um, often it has been described as being related to religion when modest fashion is really not just based upon the religious concepts of one because we have so many different variations of women who wear modest fashion. You have Jewish women, you have um, other women who are Christian women. So modest fashion is not specifically for just Islamic women is for women who desire to be beautiful on the inside and on the outside and express themselves in a dignified manner through their style of dress and their clothing. 
um, what they're doing there with the program is phenomenal because it gives you the ideas and the inputs of what's going on in the world and how people are seeing modest fashion emerge into more than just a trend. It is not a trend, it's a way of life. It's an expression of who we are as women of God. So, I mean, and just talking about the program in itself, there are so many different dy dynamics and moving parts that you're gonna experience as being a part of their wonderful internship and program. It gives you an opportunity to interact with so many people that are working in the world and the business of fashion. So um, it's just so much. I'm overwhelmed right now because I'm a little frazzled by having technical difficulties. But what I can say is that this is an awesome program. Get ready. Um, you're going to learn so very much from being a part of this wonderful program. And the program doesn't cost you anything. And that's the beauty of what is being done by the Al Huda Center of Modest Fashion and Design. A lot of these programs and a lot of the workshops and seminars that they're gonna offer you, if you were actually attending a fashion institute, you would end up paying from five to 10,000, maybe even more dollars to be able to gain the knowledge that you're gonna gain to help you to determine what you want your expression aesthetically to look like as an emerging modest designer. So I'm just extremely excited to be a part of this. I'm excited to, to interface with so many talented individuals that are probably on this call. And I'm hoping and praying that you're blessed to get as much out of this as you possibly can. That's gonna help you to move your career forward. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Karaman, uh, for your kind words and your appreciation and your thoughts are really appreciable. Really appreciable. Thank you so much. Thank you, Risa, and thank all of your wonderful emerging designers that are on the line. I'm extremely excited. I really am. Yeah, we are just trying to emerge the talent uh, of our young and new generation in this field. Absolutely. And it's so important right now. It is really, really important that we put all of our energy together and all of our resources together and to really build and establish a footprint in the business of fashion. And that footprint is modest fashion, for sure. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You're right. Uh, we also have another designer, Shiham Abraham. Uh, Shiham, are you with us? Assalamu alaikum, Raisa. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam. I am very well. And thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, please share your thoughts about the modest fashion and its future trends and about this virtual internship program. Wonderful. Um, I'm so happy to hear Sister Carmen online. It's amazing. Um, to be online with you guys, I just want to say that, alhamdulillah, I'm so pleased. And I'm really, really, um, just as uh, Sister Carmen has said, she's so excited about the opportunity um, and to look at the new designers and emerging designers. Um, Al Huda Center of Modest Fashion has really just been an amazing stepping stone for me. I know last year, just, you know, going through the internship and understanding the intricacies of what comes with modest fashion across the globe. Um, it's a fantastic platform um, to allow you to collaborate with different uh, fashion designers and to also to collaborate with different uh, partnerships um, in terms of business development and just developing your style and your brand. Um, so this internship and this opportunity is absolutely amazing. I would say give 200% to it um, because you won't regret every second that you put into it is really going to shape you as a, a designer to think out of the box and to see the opportunities that modest fashion is having across the globe 
and um, to participate in so many different events that will hopefully transpire, um, you know, from, from your learnings and it will allow so many uh, different uh, trains of thought in terms of what you are doing as a designer and, and perhaps change what you're doing um, in a way that it's going to allow you to tap into your inner creativity um, within the modest fashion sphere. Um, we've had so many opportunities and so many webinars that we've done um, with Alfuda. It's been an amazing journey. And, you know, with uh, Sister Isa has been there, you know, every step of the way, um, giving us opportunities and sharing these webinar links with us. Um, so yes, I would, I would absolutely just, you know, say that it's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity that you're getting at your fingertips without having to invest money because these days everything costs money, including <laughs> designing. Um, so yeah, for me uh, as a designer at Modesty and Boulevard, I am absolutely grateful for the connections that I've made. And um, I would definitely applaud every single designer on this platform. And I look forward to seeing what you come up with as well and looking at your profiles. And I hope that uh, I can contribute in some way or the other, you know, to give back for the amazing platform that I've been given from Al Huda. You know, it's been amazing. So Sister Raisa and uh, Mr. Zubair, I, I would like to also just take this opportunity to thank you. I don't think I've, I've done that <laughs> very um, eloquently, but yes, this is just amazing to see what you're doing um, going forward. Thank you so much, Shiham, for your wonderful thoughts and uh, for your appreciation and your uh, learning in the Modest Fashion uh, Center. And uh, I hope uh, your thoughts provide a boost up uh, to all our young generation, to all our new interns, and uh, they will work better in a new environment, in a new uh, opportunities. They will also get uh, very well opportunities in that center, in that Modest Fashion Center. Okay, wonderful. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing, you know, what comes from these sessions as well. We're always learning. And I think just to take the opportunity and be a sponge and absorb every bit of knowledge that you can um, along the way, it only makes you a better designer. And uh, I think design comes with entrepreneurship as well. So yeah, it will definitely also just you know, boost that I'm, I'm really um, honored to just, you know, be on the platform with you once again. So thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, most of the people have a question that uh, how we can relate the modest fashion with the religious fashion, uh, you know, Islamic fashion. So uh, please uh, give a short answer or a brief answer to our audience. So a brief answer from Modesty and Boulevard, you know, looking at, um, just in, in terms of my experience, how you how you would relate modest fashion to Islamic fashion. And I think um, Sister Carmen touched on this, is that modest fashion is such a cross-cultural and functional design platform um, where you're not siloed into a religious um, aspect of it. So modest fashion can be um, altered in a way that it's something that a Christian um, modest woman would wear, a Jewish modest woman would wear, a Hindu modest woman would wear, um, as well as a Muslim modest woman. And then Islamic fashion again comes into the fact where we are more compliant with what we have as our um, Islamic guide and principle of thought in terms of dressing um, from Quranic um, perspective, from what is in our um, sunnah of, of our way of dressing and where we are more aligned in the moral fiber of what Islam stands for in terms of dressing and dress code. Um, and that inculcates, um, it incorporates modest fashion. Um, so you are looking at two very um, different types of design, the modest fashion versus Islamic fashion, but there is a common fiber that connects it. And at the end of the day, 
um, if you're a modest fashion designer, you're designing for all cross cultures, cross religions. And if you're an Islamic fashion designer, then you are particularly designing for um, the Islamic religious um, modest style of dressing. So I hope that answers the question. Yes, thank you so much uh, for giving such a nice question. So Mr. Zubair uh, is just going to join us and uh, then we will start our session with Mr. Zubair. Thanks, Raisa. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, Raisa, are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, should we continue and... Uh... Uh, yes, sir. Please continue the session. Okay, thank you very much. Nabadu, Nasalila, Rasulul Al Kareem, Amabad, Fawz Billah, Imni Shaitan Al-Deem, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and very good evening. And the people who joined us uh, other than Africa and Asia, very good afternoon for them. My name is Mohammed Zubair. Uh, I am associated with uh, Al Huda Center of Motors Fashion, and we are working for the development of halal or motors fashion industry by establishing uh, the center, the center of motors fashion. Please accept my apologies being a delay uh, today as well. Uh, actually. I am traveling uh, uh, European markets nowadays and due to some weather condition, there are uh, some delays in the flight schedules. Uh, I hope so, my colleague Raisa already explained you what is the mandate of our this center. Can I have a next slide, please? In today's presentation, we will discuss about our organization we will discuss about motors fashion industry and the region, what Islam says about the modesty. Because this is misconception that in Islam, we do not have fashion. In Islam, Islam do not allow to utilize the cosmetic and etc. No, that is the myth, that is the misconception. Islam have given a certain rules for the fashion, and even in, if you see in the Sunnah and even in Quran, we have some ayat and uh, some hadith which give us the guidance that how to utilize modesty and cosmetic and other thing. Then we will discuss about the grouper indices that what globally Islam says about these things and as well as we will discuss the cultural trends, future prospect, and how to grow together. Next slide, please. For the modesty, uh, basically the meaning of modesty is the keeping with maya. What is the maya which have been, the mayas mean which have, have been decided to a man or of, women about a better by Islam. How to cover the body. By the way, there's another thing, the modesty is not only for female. Islam also have some certain parameters for the men as well. Modest dresses tend to be regarded 
as the repre representative of the essentialized and the, if if we want to explain the if you want to define the definition of the modesty for different type of the dresses for the different types of the apparels basically islam have for different ruling and i hope so in the future slides and in the future uh, presentation our sharia scholars our muftis will explain these things with you in a better way next please here uh, actually every friday we used to be shared one aya or one hadith or any code of the any religious scholars about the modesty and uh, if you are the member of our facebook page or the linkedin page you have to receive or you can find a many quranic ayat related to the modesty and the hadith about the modesty and the quotes of azad ali azad abu bakar azad umar about the modesty i hope so you will uh, join our pages uh, at linkedin and facebook our web address is uh, already shared with you but our social media url are for example facebook.com oblique center cmf and for or either you, if you write center of motors fashion you will find our pages at linkedin and the facebook next slide please what is the global growth you know the total global population of the world is more than 1.8 billion people around quarter of the global population is the muslim which is about about you can see the major muslim consumer markets are in asia the second larger muslim population or consumer market is in africa then a previous slide please then europe americas and australia uh, as per concern about the global growth uh, it is a multi billion dollar industry the total size right now is 322 billion dollar in pak rupees which is more than more than 3 trillion dollars uh, pak rupees and that is estimated that till 2024 the size of the motor fashion industry would be 402 billion dollar the modest fashion sector is growing rapidly with the average growth size is 4.8% per year next slide these are the uh, some it indicators and uh, that how this industry is being growing in the modest industry we are uh, we do not only include the apparel or the clothing in the motors industry even your handbags the handbags for the females the shoes and other accessories as well and uh, there were different surveys and studies which have been conducted to estimate the size or estimate the potential of the motor fashion and there was a one survey which was in singapore and there was a one competition that either a woman look decent decent in modesty or without modesty and most of the reviewer the majority of the reviewer after having that competition they decided that a beauty of the woman is in the modesty before to start uh, this center that what is the potential of modesty i visited different major markets of the fashion 
from where the major fashion brands belong. I visited New York, London, Milan, Paris to see that what is the indicators for the fashion industry. So that if we want to jump in into the motor's fashion, we should first understand the conventional fashion industry that what is going over there. Yes, that is the right. The conventional fashion industry belong to more than a trillion dollar market. They have a different indicators. But to tap the Muslim consumer market, I observed that the major brands including Nike, some, I do not want to mention the name of those brands, by the way, uh, the major brands who are prevailing the fashion industry, or they are having a big share in the fashion industry, they already have been entered into the modus industry. I saw some abayas, some scarves, some modus support wears, Motors, swimming wears, and many other types of the uh, clothing lines which they have been launched for the modesty. By the way, that is a very good news for the Muslim consumers. But at the other side, the prices of those products are very, very high. In Harrod store in London, which is the one of the uh, sometimes that is that store is uh, accounting as a most most expensive store of the world. I went there and I saw the the average apaya price over there is two thousand to three thousand dollar, which is almost five lakh for in, in the Pakistani rupees, and about two lakhs in Indian rupees, which is the very high side. I have chance to attend some fashion event, not modest fashion event, and whatever is being exhibited over there, the prices range was also very high. So when we established that center, center of the motor fashion, we decided that whatever product we are going to launch, by the way, inshallah, that within two months, we are going to launch uh, a buyer, and the scarf line in international market. So we decided that we will go with very, very average prices so that the modesty can be accessible or available for lower media, lower middle or upper poor class segment of the society as well. So these are the some indicator because uh, 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 my colleague, Ms. Raisa, told me that most of the, our participants are the students. You people also have a very good future in this industry because that is the emerging industry. And in many regions or many countries, most of the their fabric is being demanded by the Asian side, especially India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. So a student can have a micro entrepreneurship by utilizing some tech-based platform and launch a small motor fashion apparel line or any component like scarf, like handbags, and etc like abayas. I met with a couple of my family members in one of the Pakistani city in Multan. I told them, what are you doing? They are saying that we are selling brighter dresses in European and Canadian and American market. So they are business graduates. They launch their business by utilizing Instagram and now they have a website and they are utilizing uh, one of the e-commerce websites as well. But I was very much surprised that whatever is their revenue in their brighter dresses. And 
I gave them the idea, why not you go for the motor fashion? You have to launch any brand for the scarf, sportswear, and any other component of the modest. Because in especially in Southeast Asia, in the Middle East, even in some African country, fabric is very, very, very easily available and in the very cheap price comparatively to European and American markets. The stitchers are, are the trading companies are well available. So the people who are studying the fashion in the fashion industry or any related components or even the business graduate, they can have some future in this industry as well. But by utilizing of the technology, because technology is playing a very vital role for introducing different trends related to the halal industry and related to the motor industry. Next one, please. The biggest spenders on Muslim apparel, which are the countries, the countries where they have a biggest spenders on Muslim apparel by country, and the price is mentioned in the billion dollars. Turkey. I was in Turkey yesterday, by the way, and uh, I met with a couple of brands over there. In Turkey, Turkey have a very good motors fashion industry. They have a couple of very good brands, LC Vakiki, Cotton, many others who have a very good range of what is fashion and there are some of the apparel company in Turkey, they are introducing their product dedicatedly with the motor fashion. In some country might be they do not market their product with the modesty. Two months before I was in the North Macedonia and I visited their couple of stores where they are selling some of their components or some of their brands with the specifically with the taking of motors fashion. And similarly, the United Arab Emirates, in United Arab Emirates, might be in the United Emirates, that they do not have the very good textile industry, but in United Arab Emirat, that is a very good selling point to design your product from any part of the world and being the utilizing United Arab Emirat as a trading platform and sell all over the world. In United Arab Emirat, if you have chance to visit Dubai Mall, which is the world largest mall, and you, uh, I calculated myself by taking the catalog, uh, catalog of their product, which are available in uh, uh, the brands which are available in that mall. I find out 11 dedicated motors fashion brands. Mostly are belong to the Abayas like Moazan and many other. And, uh, then when I visited to them, I was very much happy that by having a global brand, only for the motor fashion is no available in different part of the world. Indonesia, you probably know Indonesia is the country where we have a largest Muslim population in any country. So Indonesia is also have a very good brand, very good product mechanism and it's certain than Nigeria in Africa. You probably know that Nigeria have more than 200 million population and half of them is Muslim. Then Saudi Arabia, Russia, Pakistan, Iran, India, and Egypt. By the way, unfortunately in Pakistan, we have very limited brands who are dedicated to dealing with the motors fashion, especially for the export. Next slide, please. 
yes our center is having a lessons in united arab emirates and in united arab emirates we are so have a e-commerce lessons to launch the product line and inshallah ta'ala very soon you will see couple of product lines by the platform of center of motors fashion and uh, i hope so that you people will also think about yourself that how to enter in this industry in a, by launching some product lines for this industry next slide please that is our mission and the vision and what is our services our services advisory research and development we have a dedicated team of the sharia scholars and the fashion experts we are basically utilizing the concept of sharia and transforming that concept into the products so in our product line you will see some uniqueness whatever other motors fashion brands are available in the world then we are providing consulting to the fashion brands that how can they launch the motors fashion yes they are very much expert for the conventional apparels and the fashion and etc but by utilizing our state of the art advisory and consulting services now they are entering into the motors fashion industry as well last year we participated and we became partner with the different international brands or we can say the motors runways and the fashion weeks we were in the toronto fashion week in the last year we are in communication with the paris fashion week and in this year we are planning to have a one fashion week in chicago with the partnership of another imminent us based organization for spreading the awareness we organized more than more than 35 webinars by different international scholars in which the scholars from turkey uae australia uk canada usa and many other international motor fashion scholars participated as a speaker or chairman in those webinar we have a partnership with different fashion schools in qatar in uae in pakistan and we are exploring the more as well next slide please and by the way what is the purpose of this virtual internship i know the virtual internship especially in motor fashion or especially in the fashion industry is not a easy task why because we are not a physical we are not interacting in a physical trend for example if you have a internship in any industry physically you have to interact with them on daily basis you have to understand the concept the designs the structures and etc but in virtual way it is a totally different but we why we are in that virtual internship because due to the international current situation of the covid we observed that most of the students or the professionals they have a limitations to grow their knowledge or fulfill their academic responsibility to fulfill the uh, i mean uh, in every degree or any educational institute they require a internship to issue the 
trans educational transcript or degrees so in early 2020 when we observed that this is the limitation for the fashion industry then i myself along with the, my dedicated team of the motors fashion we decided to have a virtual internship program and in that virtual internship program we provide the latest knowledge to the fashion student about the modesty the group trend the opportunities the concept the design and etc so we started that virtual internship program probably this is our last batch for motors virtual internship because uh, inshallah taala very soon the covid issue may resolve and we will return back to our routines and then you people will find a very good opportunity for the physical internship so that is the background of that internship what is our brand basically what we do by the name of al huda we are very much in for islamic banking industry we provide advisory consulting to banks to multilateral organizations like world bank united nation and many other organizations and by the platform of al huda center for islamic banking and economics alhamdulillah we have experience to work in more than 50 countries in asia europe africa america and australia so there is our background that we and we have another organization with the name of hala research council uh, by the way al huda center for islamic banking and economics was established in 2005 so that is we have 17 years track record to serve islamic banking industry then we established another organization hala research council in 2008 so for the last 14 years we are providing certification for islamic banking oh sorry halal for certification for the halal food and non food items and then we have some publications mostly related to the halal and islamic banking industry but three years back we set up the center of motors fashion to cater the need of motors fashion industry next slide please here is uh, our uh, different social media urls for center of motors fashion you can see that alhudasaib.com oblique cmf then at youtube then at insta alhuda cmf and then the facebook facebook.com alhuda cmf and similarly at the linkedin we have the similar url linkedin.com forward slash alhuda cmf i hope so you people join us in different social media platform as well so that we can interact in regular basis next please so these are the brief detail uh, by the way i am islamic banking expert i am not into the, as a mainstream more fashion industry but i did some research in this sector and then i started that organization and now we are we are looking forward to launch the motors fashion brand in which we did internal research for 3 years and after 3 years we have finalized our products our design and inshallah that in two month time that would be available in the market i am available if you have any questions and uh, for the future activities i would i would like to request to ms raisa that she may share that what activity we have been planned for future i mean in the terms of 
uh, you can say uh, lectures and other activities. Yes, Risa, over to you. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, providing me this opportunity to talk with the audience. And uh, I want to inform to all the people that we have a, a training in March, a 23rd March in Dubai, uh, for modest fashion. Uh, we are requesting to all participants to participate in that training and uh, get awareness about modest fashion, that what is modest fashion and uh, what are the nearest future trends in this fashion industry. And uh, what are the other activities uh, with uh, the, um, we can say, whatever we have? No, this training is on the uh, physical basis, but we also have some trainings, uh, which are the virtual. We will share that details with you. Uh, Raisa, can you share the next activity? What activities we have with our respected internists? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we have some uh, survey uh, that we are assigned uh, in the group today, and uh, we have other webinars for uh, interns, and we have some presentation and project sessions. And uh, after that, we will uh, conduct a research on this internship. That uh, what uh, what we can do for our interns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Uh, after that, uh, at the end of the session, we will provide some uh, formal letters, some internship letters and uh, appreciation letters, and along with the certificate of internship. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we can also utilize our interns in the events uh, in which we are uh, media partners and we will organize the events on our self basis. Okay, thank you. So, we are available if you have any questions from the audience. Yes, there's one question uh, from Asad that we didn't receive the appreciation ad so far. Right, sir. Yes, appreciations ads, uh, appreciation ads are ready and uh, they will get uh, tomorrow morning. Sure. Uh, yes, sir. Inshallah. Okay, any other question? Can you see the uh, chat box if there are any questions? Uh, dear participants, if you have any question, you can raise your hand or uh, you can write your question in the chat box as well. Okay, I think so. There's no more question. I would like to thank uh, to all the participants and I would like to thank to Ms. Raisa to organize this webinar and whatever is the future webinar schedule, you will be informed through your, uh, through the WhatsApp group. And uh, I would like to require your kind support to introduce the concept of motors. Not only, we are trying to be the global, but at least at country or the city level. So thank you very much once again, and I would like to have a very good evening and looking forward to talk with you in future. If you have any future question or any explanation, you can write me anytime. Let me share my email address with you. That is zubel.mogar at the rate of altutasaib.com. And my WhatsApp number is Nine seven one double five nine three eight double nine double zero. So I'm sharing the board contact detail at uh, chat box. You can contact us anytime for related to the uh, motors fashion industry, related to the Islamic banking industry, or halal industry. So this is a very brief information, and in the future, we will have some uh, webinar which will be concerned 
with the some dedicated topic like that's a car we we are already confirmed some fashion experts who will share some design and some information about those things then abayas and by the way for the motors fashion is not only for abaya or sakar and etc whatever cloth we have to wear with the modesty that is the motors wear so for the motors wear we will also clarify couple of misconception which we usually have in our society or in our mind thank you very much and looking forward to talk with you again assalam alaikum